Hi everybody. We have decided to amend our five essentials, so to speak, the constitution of Axel Springer. And I would like to explain to you why. First of all, I'm not a big fan of political correctness. Political correctness tends to be slightly intolerant. Here and there it is abusing a good cause in order to push through your own opinion. And things are happening that I definitely don't want to defend. I mean, it's unacceptable that for the good cause of the Black Lives Matter movement, plunderings or violence is happening. And it's also for me unacceptable that, for example, a statue of Winston Churchill is demolished or paintings are removed from museums because politicians or artists have done decades or hundreds of years ago things that are, for very good reasons, today not in line with our ethical standards. But I think it's an ahistorical behavior and it's just not solving any problem and is not fighting any form of racism. So, a lot of skepticism and at the same time, just because something is politically correct, it does not necessarily mean that it's wrong. And of course, the global debate about racism left a big impression on me and my colleagues and we discussed intensely, is our company clearly enough positioned that we do not tolerate racism and that we actively want to fight racism. In our essentials, we have historically one essential that says implicitly that we fight anti-Semitism. That is a kind of cornerstone of our uh, self-definition. But racism against Jewish people is unfortunately only one terrible form of racism and in Europe, we have more and more xenophobia, discrimination of migrants. We have in more and more markets where we are active, skin color related racism. And we simply think we have to make it very clear that we have no tolerance for all forms of racism. That's why we have changed the fifth essential and said, are saying now we are fighting political and religious extremism. That's how it was formulated so far and now we amend and all forms of racism and while we discussed that we came to the conclusion that there is another topic missing and that is sexual discrimination. We define sexual discrimination as any form of discrimination against the gender just because you are a woman or you are a man or you have a different sexual identity, you may not be discriminated. You may not be discriminated because of your sexual orientation, whether you are gay, lesbian, bisexual or whatever, you may not be discriminated. And of course, sexual discrimination also means sexual harassment, sexual abuse, which is absolutely intolerable in our company and in our society. So we have another amendment and that says now we fight political and religious extremism and all forms of racism and sexual discrimination. I think with this new essential, we make a clear statement. It is very needed for a company that defines freedom as the overruling, overriding value, uh, freedom of lifestyle. We are very happy with this modernization. We hope you are too, and we hope that we are all living up to it. Thank you very much.